Oh, hey, hot dog. <laughs> Hot dog. Lewis.
Gentlemen, a short view back to the past. Get car smart valentine based in cranbrook kent i'm about to take you for a walk around no you fucking don't that was day one at bubble park uh, for the season finale of the kent cup a bit of a steady day guys last year had our clutch blowing up when we tried to test this year earlier in the year um, this is our first real attempt to drive the bubble and you know initially learning the track okay quite tricky conditions all day really all winds on and constant sort of drizzle which made it quite slippy um, and running the maxis sport tires that we normally run at Bateman so a little bit of a harder tire less grip um, than the budget d5 so yeah it was quite tricky but yeah really good fun uh, learning the track we did have an issue where the rear right would constantly keep going flat after every session but unfortunately, um, the rim was destroyed. I had to get my old uh, rims, which has got some very old tyres on, um, and we used those on the rear just for a couple of sessions, just, just to get us through. Um, and yeah, they, they were pretty destroyed. They've done like three or four, probably five days maybe. Um, they're like it might dry up a bit after some light drizzle, um, but then literally 20, 30 minutes before our session, it started properly raining. Um, so we committed to new wets and actually the session was going alright, I mean the usual suspects got past me and I tried to tag along, try to follow the lines, you know, um, it was going alright, I mean Joe got past me and I was sort of looking at the gap to him, it was okay, and there was one lap where, you know, I was quite happy with it and um, I had a pretty hairy moment down in the air, um, down the sweep, which ruined what was probably going to be my best lap so I'm kind of kicking myself so instead of being in the top 10 we're languishing in P20 well Joe P6, Jono's P9 or P7 or something like that, P9 I think and then Riley's up P8 so yeah although said that having said that we felt relatively comfortable in the wet which is good and in the dry we were getting there um, we certainly battling the people we usually are I um, mean every time they went for a move on me I could just chuck it back up the inside next corner Stay ahead. So there's, I think we're 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 about where we are, we normally are. To be honest, we're battling the same sort of people. So we're just gonna have to try and build on it. And we we should be able to go forward quite easily from where we started. Um, but then, having said that, some of the quick guys had a nightmare as well. So Zach was down at P22. Max is down at P. I think he's like literally right in the back. So. Um, and we didn't test on Friday. A lot of the guys, some of the quick guys, were tested Friday. Um, Max and Joe and all that sort of, some of the boys here. Well, we didn't get that opportunity. And um, yeah, there's a, there's a few guys who've done a lot of racing at Bubble Park back in the day when they used to have the club stuff more regularly. Um, but yeah, we'll see how we go tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I think we're in the mix, so it should be a fun day. It's uh, going to be conducive to some competitive racing. 34 carts on track. This is going to be crazy. Oh, there you go. 
Sorry, Jazz. John Dalton. John Dalton's gone. John Dalton's gone. About that before with the compression through the line. He says he went in. We've got a uh, we've got a car off there. That is a number sixty five yeah. machine, isn't it? It's joking. as far as I'm concerned. You want to get through that first corner cleanly, you've got to go the same way as everybody else. You've got to go for wet tyres. There's not going to be enough grip.
this race round up now, about two weeks after the actual race, purely because it was so dark, and it was cold, and it was wet, and we all just wanted to get home. One of the most fun races I've had in a long time, being honest with you. An amazing start, as usual it seems to be. Um, and by the end of the race, we were up in P15. I think we were running even higher at one point, but a couple guys got back through towards the end. Uh, but we were, uh, I think, about four tenths quicker than our comp cart colleague in the awnings. A little bonus to start. Then into the second heat, um, the slightly dry track. We actually had, I think, even better pace in that race. Um, we just got nerfed out of the way a little bit early doors and had to dodge a crash at the start. Um, but we were actually, our fastest lap was believe it or not, literally identical to the guy who later went on to win the final. So that gives you an idea of just how crazy the meeting was in general. Um, but yeah, I think similar pace to Joe, if not slightly quicker. Um, so good relative to our teammates, that was good. Um, on the road we are about P16, because uh, a few of the quicker guys got through and some of that carnage as well. Um, but yeah. Uh, because of a nose cone penalty when we got pushed around early on, uh, we actually had to start the final P21, so back where we started after all that work, but hey ho, still a lot of fun. Uh, the big decision going into the final was that actually, um, we were expecting maybe a little more rain than we got. We had a few showers in between the second race and the final, and in, in between the races, but uh, it was never sort of substantial. We were sort of, you know, ran on and off for a few minutes and that bit. Um, so for the final, there was a massive dry line down the um, uh, down the sweep and all the fast corners where you'd expect it to dry quicker. Um, but as usual, as but more being under the shelter of the trees, um, it was a little bit sketchy at the top. Um, so it was a bit of a debate whether to be a hero and go on slicks. And to be honest, as we were on the dummy grid, seeing a huge dry line, usually bone dry at the bottom, apart from obviously the offline. Um, it looked dry and I was just thinking, knowing how soft the wets were, we were going to chew them up. And so yeah, I ne very nearly switched last minute, but to be only a few people went for slicks in the end. And it was actually the right call just as well, we didn't try and do anything bold. Um, but what we failed to do was drop the pressure sufficiently. And some of our teammates were running as much as 10 to 11 psi lower than what we were on, to give you an idea. So that meant we basically cooked and destroyed our tyres pretty early doors, tried to cool them off. But um, yeah, pretty futile effort at that point. So we dropped quite a bit in that race. It was, had a few really good battles and it was good fun, but it, it was a race that was dominated by tyres due to Team F100 for making it possible. Um, and Team F100 are also gonna be running some more meetings at Butmore next year. So I can't wait for that. And it's brilliant to have Butmore Park sort of back on the owner driver scene again. Forward to 2021 with GMS uh, for the whole season. Thank you to all the team for their support this year and Luke on the spanners, absolutely on fire at that more, has to be said. Um, but yeah, uh, made, Luke actually made some really good calls. Um, we had to suddenly change the wet setup for the I think for qualifying, um, reminding me of a few bits and actually probably made all the difference in the end. So big thank you to him. Um, and hopefully we can continue that dynamic duo into 21. Until then guys, Vega Barnes out. Cheers.